we're happy to share with you this demo video showing the extension of DSI data from one ECU to another through native CSI interfaces using Valence chipsets that support the various requirements of the new MIPI A5 standard. So let's take a high level view of how this is going to work. As you can see in this diagram, we're going to be taking a DSi2 data stream and sending it through modules simulating the Valence VA7000 chipsets where the data will be adapted into CSi2 format. We'll then send that stream to the second ECU which will display it. All right. Let's start at the beginning. For the purposes of this demo, we're using a signal generator to create a DSi2 data stream. To adapt that data into CSI format and extend it, we've created a module representing our VA7031 serializer connected through 15 meters of UTP cable to a module representing our VA7044 deserializer. The VA7044 connects with our second ECU, in this case an NVIDIA Xavier, and receives a clean CSI data stream. This ECU has the ability to output the video data in any desired format to the display. In this case, it connects to a monitor and displays the generated DSI RGB888 test pattern. The VA7031 can also support the YUV420 format. So where would we see this being implemented? Well, a good example would be an ECU that receives multiple video streams, processes the data and then forwards it to other ECUs that rely on it, such as a head unit display or an ADAS system. The first ECU in the chain has an application processor that outputs the data in DSI format, while the receiving ECUs are expecting a CSI input. This is where the Valence VA7000 chipsets come into play. The VA7031 can be configured to output the DSi stream over the MIPI A5, which is a CSI2 extension. MIPI A5 solutions are designed to meet the needs of future AD car networks, supporting complex topologies, high bandwidth and strict safety requirements. Engineering samples of our VA7000 family chipsets will be available later this year.